this is Nikki here. I hope that you're doing fantastic. And I missed you last week, but I'm back this week. And today, what I want to show you is how to put together a medical binder. You know, I found that this is something that is so helpful for families to do, is to have all your medical history in one uh, place. I'm actually going to do a two-part video. One is going to be for an adult health binder, and then I'm going to do a second one um, on a child's health binder. Now, the one that I'm doing today is, um, basically, let me share a little bit. In my family right now, I have several individuals that are going through some serious medical conditions, and you know, they're having to get a lot of treatments done. Um, they're having to uh, constantly go to the hospital and, you know, just all kinds of things. And they're having all of this medical information. And if any of you have battled cancer or battled heart disease or anything like that, you know what I'm talking about. And there's so many, you know, not only those, there's so many um, people out there that are struggling with some medical, serious, serious medical issues. And they know about all those tests that you have to get done and all those, you know, constant hospital visits and the struggles that go along with dealing with that. And so, you know, a lot of times as that family member that is not the one that has the illness but is in a supportive role, sometimes you don't know what to do, especially if you don't live in the same area and you're not able to take them to appointments or, you know, you just don't know, you know, you want to help or you want to be there for them and you're just trying to figure out how you can be there for them. Well, one of the things that you can do is put together a medical binder or a medical file for them. And I'm, I said binder, but it's really a more of a accordion file setup and I'll show you. But this, giving them this will take such a load off of them and keep their things in order so that when they go to their doctors, because they may have 10 different doctors, they can know where they're at with their treatments, they have everything on hand, they're, they're, they are able to show and explain to their doctors what they've had done and what other doctors have diagnosed and completed and it's just a, a great tool to be able to give a loved one that is going through a tough time. You know, a lot of times we'll send flowers or candies or cards and those things are beautiful too, but to sit down and put together this for them, I think it's really something that you, a useful tool that you really, really can give someone when they're going through a difficult time. So um, I've just recently set up one for a family member that I have that's going through a real tough time um, because she has accumulated so many papers and things like that and I wanted to get her a system to where when she goes to her appointments, she can just put it in there, but she had everything she needed um, to help her through this journey. And so um, if you see the video and you have any questions, please let me know. You can leave them in the comments below or send me a personal message. I hope that you find this helpful. If you see anything that I did not put into my health binder that you think might be beneficial, please let me know because that's how we learn from each other because we all go on through different paths and different roads and we have so many things that we can share. So please don't hesitate to share. So today we're only going to show, um, share and, and experience the adult health binder and then the children's one I'm going to do in a second video because I thought it was just too much to put into one video. But the second one it will be on how uh, to set up a one for your child from birth, you know, actually from pregnancy. And I think that this is so important. I learned the hard way because I didn't do this with my son. You know, I had a baby book, but I didn't have a specific health binder that when he turned 18, I could give him and say, hey, this is your health history as a child. So that when he um, goes through life, if something comes up, he has it there. If he joins the military, he has all his stuff there. And so it really would have been helpful for us to have, have had that all in one place. And so that's why I'm happy to do this now for you young mothers out there to go ahead and set this up now so that this could be a grand gift that you give your child when they turn 18 because you know to give them their health history is just a wonderful gift to be able to give them all of that information um, to hold and to keep so let me jump right into it I hope you find it helpful and I hope you will enjoy and this is Nikki saying goodbye Okay, so um, I know I was saying health binder a couple times throughout there, but what it, I actually went with was the accordion file, which I got from Staples for about 7 or $8. You know, I wanted something that was a little fun because, you know, I wanted to kind of cheer them up, you know, and just have something fun, not so drab. And I didn't want a binder because I didn't want them to have to worry about three-hole punching paperwork to put in the binder or about got, getting sleeves for the binder or anything like that. They can just simply put the paperwork in there and go. It's a nice size to carry for appointments and things like that, so that's what I went with. With. Along with on the inside here, I used a heavy duty two sided tape to put this down in here for the business cards for her doctors. And that way she can have them right there, easily accessible in the front of the accordion file so that when she's um, trying to make appointments or do different things, she has them there. 
And also she, um, the last time uh, we spoke, she had told us about a little cross that someone had given her that she holds kind of when she goes through her treatments and things like that. And so I thought it would be so nice to have a cross that was from my husband and I. So I put that cross in there so that can be her little holding cross when she's going through difficult times and difficult treatments and things like that. And to give her a piece of, um, of us uh, to have with her and to let her know that we love her. And so here you would put again, the business cards for her doctors, and it's the Martha Stewart kind of um, business cards holders you can get from um, Staples, and I can't remember how much they cost, a couple dollars, maybe maybe three, four dollars for a pack, um, but I just used one of them, and so that's what I have in the front, so very convenient. Now let's go into the um, accordion file so I can tell you, tell you what I did with the different sections, and to start, is with medications. This is where you put all their med they can put all their medications, a list of their medications in there, of, of what they're taking. Um, also, they can put any prescriptions that they get from the doctor when he hands them to them. They can just put in that part of the organizer. I created this little medications list, and I have that in the binder for them. And I just use simple um, word, or you can use pages if you have Mac. And you just want to put on there, you know, the different kinds of sections, such as what I take, when I take why I take and special instructions. So they can then list out the medications that they take, why they take them, when they take them, and any special instructions. This is great for anybody who's kind of helping with care. If they're not feeling well, they know what kind of medications they have. If they're going to different doctors, which is highly the case, they can explain or show the different doctors what they have, um, what they're taking easily without having to kind of rumble through things. So helpful. The next one is schedules. Now in this section is where they're going to keep their calendar and you can purchase a calendar and just put like a thin calendar in there for them. I chose to make it and I used Word again um, from the computer and I just printed out the calendar because I wanted it to be more personalized and special. I printed a, month, a year's calendar and this is for writing doctor's appointments, when tests were done and to always have a place to know when that person took a certain test or when they... Um, have appointments coming up because a lot of times when you're talking on the phone you're like well when's your next appointment they can easily tell you when the next appointment is and that kind of thing i wanted to be able to put inspirational quotes on the calendars along with some pictures of um, my husband and i and our family to kind of um, let them know that we love them and we're there for them um so i wanted to be more personalized so that's why i went with making my calendar versus just buying a calendar but you you know if um this is not uh, doable for you to print it or whatever you can easily um purchase a calendar and maybe personalize it in a different way by just um, um, paper clipping a picture of yourself or family um, on the calendar or making it special that way. There's so many different ways that you can do it to make it special. I just think that these little ad added touches into the binder is kind of um, what can kind of cheer them up and to let them know that, you know, you are thinking of them, you, you do love them and you wish you could be there. And so um, again, this is what they would use to document all of those appointments, all of those tests, and they easily have it there to reference back to and to keep track of things easily. So let's move on to the next section, which would be the disc. Now, the section here is for any disc. Now, when you have treatments done, your medical records are all on disc at your hospital nowadays. So um, you can contact your hospital and say, hey, I want a request a copy of your medical records on disc and I highly highly recommend doing that and keeping your copy not to give to anyone else of any scans you have done um, any tests you have done all of your complete medical records um, have, get them on disc from your medical facility and have those copies there that way if you go to different doctors they can review what other doctors have without having to carry the big um, slides from like um, x-rays and things like that you have them on disc to be able to provide to your various doctors you know don't let them keep them though you want to always keep your original copies you may want to burn another copy if you want to give a copy, copy to a doctor but you know you know for viewing purposes they can view them but always don't, don't never leave the physician or the doctor without your copies because these are what's going to take them through um, their different appointments. So let's go to the different section here of test results. And in this is simply going to be when they get those test results, they're going to put them in this section here and slide it in there. So whenever they're at the doc doctors, just encourage them, you know, whenever they give you test results, just be sure to get a copy of it so that you can put it in your test results section. That way they can easily refer back to them. They can, when they go to their different doctors, they can say, hey, well, this doctor already did this test. Here are the results from that. And it, it just makes it um, an easier transition for them when they're going through all these different facilities and doctors and things like that to be able to show what they already had done and kind of help the doctor, the new doctor or the you know, secondary 
veterinary doctor along with their progress. Now, the next section here is medical history. You know, every time they go to a different doctor or a new doctor, or, you know, they're always asking for your medical history. The, you know, you have to fill that out whenever you go to the doctor. So this is a section where you're going to put their medical history or they will put their medical history. And what I did, there's several templates online where you can print out medical history forms that where you can just print them out and that would, that's what you can use. I wouldn't reinvent the wheel. And so I, that's what I did. And I put a piece of colored paper and a title on the top and stapled it on a piece of cardstock so that they know that this is their copy. Don't give it to the doctor so that they can always refer back to it so that they don't forget certain information. Because sometimes when, you, when you're writing it off the top of your head in the doctor's office, you may forget some type of history or something that is important to let the doctor know. Well, here, here they have their, their original master copy that they can refer to to make sure that they're telling the doctor everything that's in their health history. And so, you know, and then also if someone else is with them helping, assisting them, they can help them fill out the form and they have all the information needed to help them fill out that form. So um, this is important, I think a very key part to have in their um, health binder to have their health history. And it cuts down on a lot of having to kind of try to remember things and writing down things and things like that. So um, I will put this in here. And you can also print the whole health history on different color paper to ensure that they don't give this to the doctor or, or misplace it with other paperwork that they get from the doctor. But um, I just stapled a color you know, piece on top because I didn't realize the thing to do that when I was printing it. And instead of reprinting it, I just you know put a color paper on top so that um, to let her know that this is her master copy, not to give this to uh, the doctor, you know, not to release that. But again, this is a key point to, um, that you want to um, help them with. So now let's move on to the last section, which is research. And this is where, you know, um, when you first find out about things, you're going to the internet, you're researching different things, printing information, they can put all the information about their illness in here that they've kind of researched. I also put this pad and pen in here so that when they're at the doctor's office, um, they can write down anything that doctor's saying, put the date and the name of the doctor that said that. So they have a running record of what's being said and what's being told to them, um, along with that if they have questions for their doctor, they can kind of jot them down before their appointment so that when they get to the, go to the doctor, they won't forget to ask, oh, let me remember to ask about this or um, let me um, remember to tell them about that. Now, I'm also going to put a highlighter in here because they may need to highlight certain things on things they print out from the internet researching they may want to highlight things to ask the doctor or just kind of to remember and so that's the purpose of a highlighter so that goes there and so this is the health history um, kind of accordion file that I set up and it's a great gift to give to a loved one that is about to embark or is currently embarking on a challenging health journey um, I think it will help them stay organized and on top of their um, their situation and when they go to their doctors they can really provide each doctor with um, the information from the previous doctors and just stay on top of everything easily you know and it, everything doesn't get kind of um, confusing and out of order and you know if you've ever been down that road you know that it's just a lot of doctors a lot of paperwork a lot of can get confusing can get frustrating and so this is something that you can do for a loved one or for yourself if you're going through that kind of thing again I would highly recommend not doing the binder doing this because it's it, doing the according file because it expands to fit all of that paperwork like medical records and things like that along with it's very very um, easy to put in a bag and transport and then when they're all recovered they can easily and simply just put it in a file cabinet and they have that all together from when they had that tough journey for that uh, situation in case they ever have to come back to it